Hi, this is Lana Lisa Williams, AKA Survival Woman. And I'm broadcasting from Central California with the sunlight shining in the glass door behind me. That's the only light in here, it's all natural. I'm not one of those get a big giant ring-like type persons. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm using my phone, which is in my hand, so this is going to be a little difficult to show you something with one hand on my phone. Yep, but anyway, today is Thursday, January 28, 2022, I believe. I could be wrong, but you know, I was born blonde. Anyway, yeah, so I have today my girly backpack. Yeah, I'm going to show you. It's really cute. So here's my girly backpack. It's all silver and oh, a little heavy. It's got like a big pocket. Yep. And um, it's, you know, it's a backpack. It's black. I'll show you a little. It's sort of like black on the back. And it has a big pocket and a zipper. You know, normal backpack stuff. But what's different is that being survival woman, because I've survived, yeah, bad hair days <laughs> on bad malfunctioning wardrobe. Wanted to show you my pretty rainbow cross with a little uh, crystal there, which represents a tear. My daughter, Jessica, gave me the little crystal. Yeah, and I got my little bee earrings because bees are endangered and they're very important creatures, especially in the Central Valley where all the almond trees grow in California. Anyway, back to my backpack. So I got this girly silver backpack from Sam's Club, my favorite store. And being a survival woman, I wanted to show you what makes my backpack special and what makes it so heavy is that actually it has a bulletproof shield in it aka body armor which i have covered up with a towel because you know it just would look weird if someone opened my purse and saw body armor in there um but i'm gonna uncover it for you a little bit i think if i can yeah oh, i really got this thing in there didn't i okay i really got this thing together but i'm gonna need scissors okay we're gonna get scissors. Yep, down here. Okay, yeah. This is what I do with one hand. Scissors. I'm gonna cut this. I put a towel around it because I thought, you know, that would be important if this thing got struck by a bullet <laughs> so that the fragments wouldn't fly up into my face, you know, because actually I watched my buddy at Black Scout Survival, and he said, you got to watch that body armor because um, it's going to, it's if it's metal and not ceramic, if it gets struck by a bullet, and mine is certified for rifle. <laughs> yeah, mine's a three plus certified for rifle kind of body armor. He said, um, if it gets struck by a bullet, fragments might come up into your face. So that freaked me out. So I got my, my handy dandy, really well-made tape. <laughs> extra strong from Walmart and decided to put my little blue towel. So here, let's look. Okay. I'm going to turn this around. So yeah, here's my blue towel. I'm on my body armor and you can see my, right. So ah, here we go. <sighs> Armored Republic AR 500 armor, limited coverage, blah, blah. Yep. And then the other side, it says, there's my door, it says strike face. So this is the way it should face, and it has a kind of coating on it. So I I emailed AR500, and the very nice customer service guy said, this already has a little coating on it. Um, it's And so if it got struck by a bullet, it probably wouldn't uh, go up into my face, it would go outward. And the only problem I would have is if I were holding something in front of me, I might get caught with my arms, you know, a little bit, but I'm not going to be holding anything in front of me except my uh, body armor. So this is how it looks. If you see the whole thing, yep, it's this. Wow, it's really hard doing this with just one hand. Okay, so it's heavy. Oh, uh, yeah, so you get the idea. Women, this is not. A lightweight item <laughs> it's like I don't know at least 10 pounds 
And so, oh gosh, I need a camera woman. Yep, need a hair stylist, need a makeup lady. But survival woman survives about that stuff because I am survival woman. Anyway, my backpack armor weighs about 10 pounds and I do put it in my silver backpack. Yep. And it just fits because, you know, I kind of measured it. I'm going to show you inside. There's my backpack inside. Kind of measured it so that it goes right in there. Yeah, that's cool. And my backpack, you know, looks like a normal silver backpack that a ditzy blonde from California would carry. <laughs> Who would think? Unless they picked it up and felt how heavy it was that there was actually body armor in it. So, uh, you know, women can be preppers too. And we're stronger than we look. So don't forget that, guys, or anybody. This is Survival Woman. Hope you enjoyed my little fiasco about body armor. Saying have a great day on this Thursday, January 28, I think, or 27. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm blonde. But hey, you know, blondes can be preppers too. Bye.